Hi guys, welcome to Stuffbox. On this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress on Google Cloud Platform on a Windows machine. I'll also show you how to create a public and private key using PuttyGen so you can FTP your files using an FTP client. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. For this video, I'll assume you have created your Google Cloud Platform account already. If you have not yet, the link on how to sign up for Google Cloud Platform is on this video description. So open your Google Cloud Platform account and click on Marketplace. The Marketplace has a bunch of pre-configured templates. From the Marketplace, search WordPress. There are a lot of templates here, depending on how fast of a server you need or what service provider has set it up. In this case, I'll pick the Google Quick to Deploy WordPress configurations. From here, if you scroll down, you will see how much this server configuration will cost you per month. Okay, so now let's uh, scroll up and let's click the button Launch on Compute Engine. So this may take a little bit of time, so I'll just fast forward this tutorial a little bit. So now it's done configuring the API. You can see from the different boxes here. Under machine type, you can adjust the CPU and there's multiple CPU. And of course, if you choose a faster one, it'll be more charged for you per month. Zone is the multiple servers around the world. The last letter of the server just means it's the latest server from the bunch. Under deployment name, you can name it to whatever you want. On this test, we'll leave it as WordPress Multi Site 1. So now let's fill out the administrator email address. I'll put my email here. Scroll down. All the settings should be fine. And I'll just tick Allow HTTPS Traffic. Scroll down some more. The last thing here is checking I accept GCP Marketplace Terms of Service. Feel free to read it first before you check it and then click deploy. This could take a little bit more time, so I'll just fast forward the video. and it's done configuring. From here you should see the site address, the admin URL, your username, as well as your password for WordPress. If I click this and launch it, and there's our website. Now if you want to upload files to your WordPress using FTP, you'll need to create SSH keys. This is because Google Cloud Platform does not allow us to FTP simply by using username and password. For extra security, Google Cloud Platform requires that we have SSH keys. There are two parts to the SSH keys, public and private. Think of the public key as a lock and the private key as your own key to that lock. No one else's key could unlock that lock. For you to create SSH keys on Windows machines, you'll need PuTTY. Simply click the link from the Google Cloud documentation. I put the website link on the video description. So click download PuTTY Gen. From here, you can choose 32-bit or 64-bit. This will depend if you have Windows 32-bit or 64-bit. If you're not sure, you can simply click 32-bit. So now let's do the install. Click this link. Click 
click next next again and here I'm just gonna add shortcut to my desktop and then install click yes I'm going to uncheck this and then click finish so now that we are done installing putty let's launch putty so I'm just going to search putty gen if you can't find it when you first search it click on apps tab and click on putty gen click on generate button from here you just keep moving your mouse pointer it will generate a key based on your movement so just stay in this box uh, don't worry about it if you go over the box so now that it's done generating a key let's fill out some fields here under comment you want to put the username that you want I'm just going to put admin under passphrase that's optional but just for extra security I will put a passphrase And I'm going to save the private key under my desktop. I'll just create a uh, folder so I know. So I'm going to save it in there and I'm going to name it. And it needs to be PPK, which is Putty Private Key. Click Save. I'm also going to save the public key. I'm going to put it in the same folder. In this one, we put the extension .pub. So now let's go back to our Google Cloud Platform and upload the public key. Click on these three lines. Go to Compute Engine. I'm going to pin Compute Engine so it goes on top so it's easy for me to access it later on. So from Compute Engine, click on VM Instances. So from here, it will list all your VM. I only have one, so I'm going to click that. And we'll click on Edit. So you scroll down, look for SSH key. As you can see, I don't have anything at this moment. So we'll click it here. So let's go back to PuttyGen. Copy this whole thing, starting from SSH. And then paste it on that box. Okay, scroll down and click on save. So now that we have uploaded the public key, let's test it out. Let's use an FTP client and use the private key to access the VM instance. So I'm going to search FileZilla. Okay, launching FileZilla. And from FileZilla, click on File, Site Manager. And from here, let's create a new site. I'll name this WordPress 1. Under Protocol, you want to choose SFTP. And we need the host, which is the IP address of our website. Go back to your compute engine. If you still have it loaded, this is the IP that we need. Copy this. And then paste it on FileZilla under host. And then under login type, we want key file. 
user that's a comment that we put in admin and then let's locate the private key so I put it on my desktop under board press 1 and this is the PPK click OK and then click OK again all right let's test it out from this icon click on WordPress 1 enter the passphrase that we uh, that you put in if you didn't put anything just click OK and we are connected that's it so from here if you want to locate the WordPress website just click on the three dots and then look for var and scroll down see www and then HTML and then there's your WordPress thank you very much for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions please leave in the comment below